got its fair share of breweries as well. Well, now a local company is hoping to add to the landscape on the eve of Hispanic Heritage Month. Abby Dodge, live in Ray Town for the launch of Rizomo Liquid Creations. Yeah, and it looks like there's a good crowd behind you there at some of those picnic tables. So hopefully they get a good crowd tonight for good reason, right, Abby? It's a very, very good reason, Caitlin and uh, Kevin. It is, Rizoma is Kansas City's first, first Hispanic owned beer company. And they're taking this launch very seriously with Hispanic Heritage Month coming up just tomorrow. Tons of vendors inside, but you know, I had to come outside and get some tacos. <laughs> and the owner of the company says that he's hoping that their beer is a conversation starter in the Hispanic community and beyond. For me to be tied to it as a Latinx, Hispanic, Latino, uh, Mexican American, all of those labels, all those things, it's um, it's still new for me, but it, it's, a, yes, about representation, but also just there are stories that need to be heard and haven't been heard. A Mexican lager with meaning. I would say over the years, there's a lot of breweries that we see who try to do Mexican brands or a Mexican beer. Um, hardly is it used as a platform to promote and do good. This is Rizoma's first batch of beer. They're hoping to go beyond what's inside of these kegs, challenging the labels given to us. Everybody has their story of how they've come there and there's not a checklist of requirements to be those. And, and for us, it's just how, where am I on the spectrum of identifying as it? Arredondo grew up in a predominantly white suburb of Kansas City. He only recently connected with his Hispanic roots. I stood out, but I never really culturally had it. He wants others to feel heard, no matter where they're at in their cultural journey. Each Rizoma can has a QR code. It will eventually lead to individual minority stories to promote deeper understanding. However we identify, it's not about that. It's, it's about using our platform to tell other people's stories and normalize it. Another part of the mission here at Rizoma is to give back to the community like so many other small businesses in Kansas City does. So their proceeds, some of them from tonight, are going to go to the Latinx Education Collaborative. That helps a lot of teachers in the Kansas City area with Latinx heritage just come together through community to support each other. If you want to grab one of these Rizoma beers, the first one on tap is El Sol. We'll have it here at Crane Brewing in Raytown for about the next month. Live in Raytown, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.